This is Driving Solutions, exclusively on cptnews.com. From shifting consumer behaviors to the way dealers source their vehicles, the retail automotive community is evolving quicker than many of us could have predicted. Ally Financial is playing a pivotal role in empowering dealers to navigate and thrive. Josh Callahan, who is the Senior Director of Smart Auction at Ally, joins us today in the studio to talk about this very important issue. Josh, thank you so much for joining us. Great to be with you, Jim. Sure. So uh, dealers are challenged with acquiring pre-owned vehicles right now. I mean, and it's been that way for some time, right? What solutions does Ally provide to help dealers find and acquire new cars? Well, certainly Ally is one of the largest finance companies in the U.S. We have a lot of ways to remarket our vehicles out there, repossessions and off-lease vehicles. Mm -hmm. We do sell direct to dealerships out there. Uh, We do run vehicles through physical auction lanes. We have 42 auctions throughout the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii. Oh, my gosh. And then we also have our main channel out there, which is Ally Smart Auction. You know, with Smart Auction, we not only remarket our vehicles, we Mm -hmm. also remarket vehicles for other captive uh, companies out there, finance companies, banks, rental car companies, and other fleet companies. You know, with our uh, auction, dealers can search for cars 24-7 out there. We run auctions Monday through Saturday. Monday through Friday, we have two auctions per day. And it's a great source for dealers to go on, find multiple vehicles from multiple different lenders out there, multiple different sources and then get a one-stop shop for all their shopping needs. Wow, that's fantastic. So um, after COVID, we saw a lot of dealers get into the the business of buying cars off the street and calling their customers and saying, we need your car. You know, And it worked very, very well for a lot of uh, dealers that I spoke to during that time. Is that a trend that you think is here to stay? Certainly, I think it's here to stay. Uh, one thing we've learned throughout the pandemic is uh, dealers are nothing but adaptable, yeah. and they will find different ways to make their business work for them. Sure. And finding cars from consumers directly off the streets was one of those avenues out there. Um, as we come out of the pandemic, as we kind of move back to a normal type environment out there, I think dealers are going to continue to buy cars from consumers off the street, but also look at online solutions, go back to the physical auction. Sure. And if anything, they're going to find a new and exciting way to source their inventory and supply that for their business out yeah, there. Yeah, that's the, you're right. Dealers do what they need to do to get it done, yes. right? Um, we saw a dip in leasing, you know, a pretty sizable dip, actually, in, in over the last few years. What impact does, does, does that have in the availability of dealers getting used cars? Well, I think it's uh, mm-hmm. it's going to be a problem that's going to be with us for several years to come now. Mm-hmm. Uh, during the pandemic, we saw supply chain issues, manufacturers slowing down their uh, building of the vehicles, mm-hmm. less incentives out there, and just consumer demand wasn't really out there for leasing. Yeah, And as uh, anyone in the industry knows, that's going to be a bubble that kind of works its way through the industry for yep. the next several years. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think dealers, again, uh, nothing but adaptable. They always find ways to source different vehicles out there. Uh, One of the interesting things is during the pandemic, rental car companies, uh, they would buy vehicles directly from dealers, Mm -hmm. directly from consumers. uh, And as they're coming back to remarket those vehicles, get them out of their fleets, these don't look like your typical rental type vehicle out there. So these are going to be different uh, options on the vehicles, different uh, availability. And it's a good, exciting way for dealers to look for cars when those off-lease cars aren't going to be available. Yeah, for sure. There's no, no question. Um, you know, we saw the average prices, uh, we're seeing, I should say, the average prices of uh, used cars at kind of an all-time high. What impact is this having right now with dealerships and, and dealers? Well, Jim, as you and I both know in our day-to-day life, everything's more expensive out That's there. That's right. Um, and as I mentioned, dealers are going to find ways to make things work. Yeah. Uh, now we're seeing PVR numbers on the front end and the back end for dealerships mm-hmm. remain very robust out there. Okay. Down a little bit from the highs of the pandemic, but certainly much higher than what they were mm-hmm. in 2018 and 2019. With that, I think dealers are going to find ways to continue to operate their business. Uh, now during kind of a, a rougher economic condition out there, uh, the basics of dealership 101 is more important than anything else out there you know, the blocking and tackling, if you will. Yeah. Know who your customer is, know what you can sell to your customer, yep. know what uh, the prices are out there. Mm-hmm. And if you get into a vehicle a little bit deeper and you can't sell it, quickly and efficiently remarket that vehicle. That yeah. way you can put that cash to use to uh, other assets out there to That's make right. money for we, your dealership. Which is the key, right? Absolutely. Keep, keep that money working for the dealer, no yep. question. Um, let me ask you this. The um, 
have have I should first say have consumers been receptive to the extended term financing uh, options that are out there with the high cost of cars these days? I think so. Uh, we've yeah. certainly seen uh, the average term on a used car and new car as well uh, continue to creep up during the pandemic. Yeah. I think the used car average term right now is a, right about 70 months. Mm -hmm. Uh, with higher prices out there, with higher interest rates, uh, the one variable that the FNI office can adjust is going to be that term of that contract. Sure. As you and I both know, most consumers out there are going to be payment type shoppers. Yeah. So if we can back into a payment that's uh, good for that consumer, yep. it's usually good for that dealership out there as well. Uh, going forward, I think we'll probably see a little bit of a slowdown in the increase of those average terms out there. But I think they're certainly here to stay and uh, as we know, consumers like lower payments, and they're going to always find a way to look for those lower payments. <laughs> That's no question about it. The dealers that I talk to around the country are like, oh, there's no problem. Consumers, when, once they find out that they're just, there's extended terms available to them, nine times out of 10, they always take them. Absolutely, know, and, yes. Uh, you know, up to 84 months in, in many cases as well, right? Uh, remember the good old days back when 60 months was the, uh, <laughs> the most we could go on a used I car? I do. I remember the days, I'm really dating myself now and a little bit older than you, but uh, I remember when the industry wanted to move to 60 months and everyone in the car business said, oh, that's it. Nobody's going to trade every 36 months. And that just didn't stick. People <laughs> still wanted a car in 36 months. Absolutely. So, yep. That still holds true today, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, Josh Callahan, Senior Director of Smart Auction at Ally Financial. These are the kind of solutions that we want to be bringing you here at CBT News. Um, obviously, Ally, is there a bigger, better name out there to be associated with and to trust when you're running your dealership? Probably not. But uh, so thank you, Josh, so much for coming in. Really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it, Jim. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching Driving Solutions exclusively on cptnews.com.